Hello, hello, I'm Lee. My pronouns are they, them, and I'm here in my living room on formerly indigenous land of Cherokee and others. Now we call it the Little Mountains outside of Asheville in North Carolina. And I wanna bring you a little movement yoga asana practice. For feet, hands, knees, and elbows is what we're gonna be focusing on. And for my very first yoga online offering, I wanted to just start at the beginning. So I've got my yoga sutras here from Patanjali. They're translated by Sri Swami Sachitananda. And um, sutra means thread. This is sort of the driver manual for yoga, which is a lifestyle science philosophy that has eight limbs. So eight like rules, actions, things, things that you do, and there are sublimbs. And then the very last limb of Samadhi is sort of this liberated state. So you do these actions. Most of the limbs are very action oriented. These things that you do like yoga asana practice, and then they lead to this way of being or this experience. So the very first yoga sutra, is Atta Nivanu Shashanam, which means now we continue the practice of yoga. So now is like our proprioception check. We're here now, we're present, I'm in a body for sure, and I'm ready to focus on something. And what I'm ready to focus on is yoga. And while yoga, there's so many different ideas around it, definitions, uh, there's a bunch right here on my shirt. <laughs> but what I'm taking it to mean in the very first Yoga Sutra is like the union, the yoking of these limbs that lead to this mindset or this state of being. So the, the sutras, the threads that weave together, like the, the strong fiber of the practice. Anu is the continuation. It has a connotation of like a teaching that's been passed down. So not just that we're going to continue practicing yoga, but this is wisdom that's been passed down. A bunch of people taught it to me. I'm going to talk about it here. And so it's the continuation of this time-honored um, divine, beautiful ritual. And Shashanam are the instructions and the steps that we take. And they have a connotation of like discipline and the idea that the actions are not always so fun, but that we have to do these things in order to, and we sort of have to surrender to like the structure of the limbs and the discipline of the practice in order to come to this liberated state. And I wanted to focus on the feet and the knees and the hands and elbows because I sort of wanted to begin from the outside and then work our way to the center. And the hands and the feet are so heavily utilized in the body. But usually when we talk about yoga, we talk about heart openers or hip openers or the core or the back body or the shoulder girdle. And so I wanted to start out by talking about these sort of external workhorses of the body that contain most of our bones, uh, like half of our bones all come from the hands and feet. There, any, any idea that's come from our imagination and come into fruition, come into being, probably did so by way of the hands or feet, um, any place we've ever gone, anything we've ever made these very pragmatic parts of our bodies that do so much for us, but they're the, like the furthest away from the core. They're the furthest away from all the action that's happening from the brain. And so they tend to be sort of distant, um, dry and cold. They are represented by the planet Saturn. So that very far planet that's ringed, the hands and feet kind of represent the container of the body and tend to be kind of cold and dry and frail, easily broken. And if you've ever broken a tiny bone in your hand or your foot, you know how long it takes to recover, it's hard. So I wanted to focus our very first practice on the knee alignment with the feet 
and some belt, some bent elbow strength because we're often working in yoga from um, bent elbows to straight arms, bent knees to straight legs and seeing how far can we stretch to straight, where are we um, becoming hypermobile where we're overstretching. And so I think the knees and the hands and the feet are a great place to start with this. And that's what we'll be doing today. And we're just gonna pick up a foot and go. We're gonna need a blanket. I have this blanket rolled up and we're gonna need two blocks. I have it rolled up so that the back of my head can be here and the tips of my shoulders are going to go underneath the roll of the blanket. So let's get started. So to create a little bit of opening through the thoracic mid back, we're going to place the blanket roll at the tips of the shoulder blades. We're going to cactus the arms up by the ears so that the elbows are extending close to in line with the shoulders as much as you can and the fingertips are pointing up away from you. And the knees are bent, feet flat on the mat. And simply begin to arrive in this lying down position with a little bit of pressure underneath the mid back and start to elongate and smooth out the breathing. 